Hey, Revolt is DJ Damage. Now, in 2011, Casey Veggies and Rocky Fresh collaborated on the track Duckin' and Dodging. It was on Rocky Fresh's LP, The Other Side Redux. And now since then, they've blown up. Rocky Fresh is signing to Rick Ross Maybach Music Group. I don't want to say signing because he already signed. And Casey Veggies is keeping it fresh, being independent. Now it's 2014, and the two have came together for a 10-track mixtape. It's called Fresh Veggies. And the mixtape is getting so much love on Hip Hop DX and from our friends over there at Dat Piff. What up, KP? And here with me in the studio right now at Studio B, I got the homie Rocky Fresh Good. and Casey Veggies. How y'all feeling, man? Chilling, man. Chilling, that's it? Yeah, no, we, we had, had a great time. That's, that's a we big moment right now. I gotta <laughs> talk to y'all though about the mixtape. What made y'all get together to collab? Yeah. I mean, Casey out of LA, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Chicago, we both young. You know, we both make dope music. But then beyond that, you know what I'm saying? He a, a dude that I relate to. Like, I relate to his work ethic, you know what I'm saying? The things that he gotta go through, uh, trying to get to where he's trying to go. Yeah. And, you know, he relate to the same struggle that I go through. So it was easy for us to collaborate. We both signed the Puma, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. <laughs> All uh, things good. And I think it was just young. I think we need to show like young kids can work together. Young young dudes doing this, we can get together and really, that. you know, do it bigger. We can yeah. really make it bigger, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's what it's all about, for real, for real. Just working together and doing great things. No, for sure. Yeah. Now, how would you say y'all styles complement each other? What do y'all respect about each other's style? Man, I think, <laughs> man, I think he just got his distinct voice, a distinct, you know what I'm saying? way of saying things, you know what I'm saying, how he approaches his bars and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, and um, for me, I just bring a whole different twist, and I feel like every song, it needs that balance, you know what I'm saying, like every song, the balance was perfect, you know what I'm saying, he brought that, he brought that smoothness, and I brought that, I kind of got, I get wild sometime, or I might, you know, it's like get the excited. yin and yang yeah, kind like, of thing, right? Like, yeah, but it's kind of like, this. it's not really yin and yang, because we still the same, on the same wavelength, you know what I'm saying, so it's, it's a dope, um, collaboration to me, you know what I'm saying? And it makes a lot of sense. Now, one thing I thought was dope is that y'all do free shows to promote y'all music. Y'all were doing them in Brooklyn. Of course, your hometown in Chicago and LA. Yeah. What made y'all do that? Man, uh, shout out to man, Josh, shout out to the homie Drew back there, man. Our, our, what up, Josh and homies. Drew? What up, y'all? We, yeah. we just. Y'all can make saying? some noise. We live. Come on, man. What up? Josh B. What up, Josh? Drew? What up? What it is? <laughs> we, just, we just worked together, collaborate on ideas, man. Seemed like a good idea. Puma wanted to get behind us doing these shows. And it's not, it, it's not free. It's, it, don't, it don't cost a little bit of money to do shows like this for free. You know what I'm saying? We spent a lot of money putting it together, and I want to shout out to Puma for for making sure we got it done. And we really Definitely. just did it for the fans, you know what I'm saying? Like, to make sure we show them we dedicated to what we doing, and y'all should be dedicated to what we, we have to offer, you know what I'm saying, for real. Now I gotta ask y'all, man, I'm throw it to you. You look a little quiet, man. Right, <laughs> You're in the zone. What's, what's have been the response, you know, uh, said, what has been the response from the people, you know, from y'all collabs, from the shows to the music? And people liking it, you know what I'm saying? They rocking with what we doing. I think uh, they seeing a lot of improvement with me and Casey which is the cool thing that we really wanted to showcase because we both young, we both working hard to get better. You know what I'm saying? We both understand we got a lot of growing to do. And uh, for the fans to realize that, and even with the shows, you know, me and him, we've done shows together before, and we just seen an increase in the amount of people that came to support with this. Um, and I don't even think it was just because it was free, but I think people really had an appreciation for yeah. the collaborative effort that we did. And so it's been real cool, man. Salute to the fans for, for holding us down as always. No, for sure. Now I gotta ask, because I already know, I've, I've been seeing that you have an appreciation for alternative music. Yeah. And you know, here at Revolt, we play all types of music. So I wanna know from both of y'all, but starting with you, how has alternative music maybe influenced your style? And for you, what other genres of music influences your music? Yeah. Um, for me, it's just made me wanna uh, add like more of a live element to my music. You know what I'm saying? Like. When I was coming up, I was seeing a lot of um, beats going in more of a, I don't know, just like different direction, you know what I'm saying? And when I got into the alternative music, it made me want to go out and find guitarists and just other people to really bring my like rap sound to a, a more live feel. And uh, I think the emotion that they put into their records, like it's not so boastful, you know what I'm saying? A lot mm -hmm. of the content is just about like regular life stuff and the situations that they go through. So that kind of motivated my content too. That's real, man. Yeah. What about you? Any other genres kind of influence your style? I think uh, I think I'm really into jazz. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like jazz, jazz music. 
like, you know what I'm saying, soft, like, like smooth, alternative type, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the Jill Scott, you know what I'm saying? Like, that smooth. Philly in the hills. Yeah, like, I just <laughs> like, I just like that smooth type of soul, you know what I'm saying? Like, neo soul type vibe music too as well. And I just like to incorporate that with like hip hop beats and hip hop, you know what I'm saying, music. And I think when you incorporate those two, it's like the best vibe you can come with, you know what I'm saying? Now I hear that. Now you worked with a lot of artists here in LA, you know, Dom Kennedy. I can go for days. Yeah. But now you're working with somebody from the Shot Town. Exactly. How is it different or is there any differences? Oh uh, man, it's not really too different. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we all on the same grind. Like we all really working towards the same greatness. And when, when anytime you get, you know what I'm saying, great people together, I feel like we all on the same thing. Like Dom is just on on something different. Like we he's doing something great in LA, he's doing something great in the side town. I'm doing something great for the we doing something great for the young kids, you know what I'm saying? It's like a different generation. Obviously, we come from we come from a, a closer That's generation, real. you know what I'm saying? Like you 22, yeah. I'm 20 years old, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just a different age group, you know what I'm saying? But we that we stand for, that we speak for, and that we relate to, you know what I'm saying? I feel like when I come to Chicago and I chill with Rocky, we doing this he doing the same thing i'm doing in la so yeah, i'm like we might real. as well talk about it together you know what i'm saying we might as well give it to the world together because we on the same shit. all right no i yeah. like that now i gotta ask you dude casey now before you came we was having a little back and forth we was arguing a little bit about where your name came from yeah <laughs> can you tell us where did this name come from casey yeah. veggies it came from the clothing line we had we had a brand a blog spot a clothing line that it was just a lifestyle brand called peas and carrots uh, the Peas and Carrots brand, it became a real clothing line. We got a store right now. Uh, when we came up with the brand concept, we was like, how can we like make it real? How can we make people really believe this is what we own? So I was like, yo, we might as well go have have these vegetables. We have, have the vegetable names, you know what I'm saying? Let's really go all out. I told the homie Anwar, you Anwar Carrots, Josh, Josh Peas, I'm gonna be Casey Veggies. Like, Let's do it. I'm going to be the whole thing. I'm going to be veggies. I'm going to be the veggie man. Like, I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? So, and then it's like, vegetables are good for you. You know what I'm saying? They're good for your health. They're good for your mind. They're good for your soul. You know what I'm saying? It's good for your he overall. Give you those lyrical vegetables. Yeah, like everything I got to yeah, offer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's that nutrients. Like my music got them. It got the veggies in it. Like it ain't, like my music it ain't just a, a meal without the full course. Like it got the veggies in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. You got to have a veggie, you know, All right, real. man. Gotta have <laughs> it's funny. Before we wrap it up, I got to ask y'all, today's social media conversation is what's beef. When y'all hear that, what's beef, what do you think about? Let me start with you, Rocky. Uh, I think about this Biggie song <laughs> and how much I like it. I don't really. I ain't mad at that. I don't that. get down with beef, man. <laughs> How about you? When you hear it, though, it's no wrong answer. What, what's what beef? Do you, what do you hear when you hear that? When, I hear, when I hear what's beef, comes to I, your mind. I think, man, you need to add some veggies. <laughs> All right, man, that's this. I want to thank y'all for coming out. Rocky Fresh, Casey Veggies, man. They got a hot project, man. Fresh Veggies. Make sure y'all check that out. And coming up, we have our social takeover. Hashtag What's Beef, where we explore current beefs and music. Uh, and you know, it started with examples like Kendrick Lamar, Trinidad James. Are beefs more or less dangerous than the old days where West Coast and East Coast was beefing? And will we ever see tension again arise like the West Coast, East Coast beef? And what artists have to do to come over those beefs, man. The last few years, there's a lot been going on. So it's not, I just need y'all to join the conversation. Hit us up, hashtag What's Beef at Revolt TV. And of course, we finish our segments with one of our favorite things we love to do. And I have my boy Umra here with me. It's called Rapid Roundup. Make sure you keep it locked. You're watching Revolt. <laughs>